How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another What I'm Liking and Not So Much Wednesday. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what some of my likes and not likes are, keep on watching. Okay, I also wanted to do a, a shout out as well on here real quick. The woman I'm going to do a shout out to is Julie Smith. She's a really nice lady. I really enjoy watching her. Um, she's actually subscribed to quite a few of us, I have noticed. I didn't realize that till, you know, now just getting more to know her and everything. She is subscribed to quite a few of us. She does do all pretty much beauty related stuff, of course. Uh, you know, she shares some uh, products maybe she got or just one product in general. Yeah, she just she's really wonderful to watch. And I, I think you guys will really like her. I, I like watching her a lot. So I'll put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out. Show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like and, you know, give her some thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get into some products. Crazy enough, I don't have any hair products. This product here, I just relatively just got. I, I feel like I do, there's something I like about it and there's something I don't like about it. So it's like a 50-50 kind of a thing. It's compared to Burt's Bees Radiance Facial Cleanser. It's the Equate brand. It's with royal jelly, jojoba beads, and fruit acids. Removes oil, dirt, and makeup. So that all caught my attention, you know. Um, and I got the Equate brand because it was a little bit more, you know, obviously cheaper. I think this was like six something where Burt's Bees was like about $10. And quite impressively, when I went to go ahead and wash off my makeup and everything that I had for the day, it, it pretty well took it off. It took it off really good, actually. I mean, um, the eye makeup, everything, it, it removed my makeup really good. Now, after I did that, I still did use my micellar water that I have from Garnier. Uh, I think I just do that just to be a little extra, like sure that everything is removed. You know, to my surprise, it, it was. It removed it really, really good. So I like that. Like the one thing I didn't like is the scent. It kind of put me off a little bit. <laughs> the scent was to be desired. It really did put me off. I like it. It did really remove the makeup. Very impressive. Just the scent. Ooh, I, mm, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if the Burt's Bees one will be any better. So the next thing for the skin is one of the masks that I've been trying from the body shop. This one's the uh, Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. This is definitely for somebody that does have uh, normal to dry skin or combination to dry skin. It is from Ethiopia, the honey. Um, and... I think olive oil is from Italy. There's olive oil in here, honey, and, man and um, marilla oil. Yeah, marilla oil is the other one. Those are the three uh, top ingredients I had seen that it said that's in this. Texture obviously looks like honey. And it doesn't smell too bad. A lot of these are going to have a natural scent to them, so they're not, for the most part, going to smell perfumey kind of a scent, you know, like perfume scent. But when I put this on, you know, it goes on like a nice, almost like shiny glaze like that. And you leave a lot of these on for about 10 minutes. You can leave it on longer if you'd like to, but 10 minutes at least. And... I go ahead and take a cloth and just kind of gently uh, wipe wipe it off after the 10 minutes and then splash my face with some of the water. And when I removed it, it my skin felt amazing. It felt like velvet. It seriously felt like velvet. It was really, really nice. Another product that I got, this one I got at Walmart. Eh, there's a good thing about it and then there's a little bad thing about it. But I got the Advanced Clinicals, it says for Salon Professionals, Spa Size Retinol, Advanced Firming Cream, Green Tea, Aloe Vera, and Chamomile in it. It does say use it daily. I use it a couple times in the week because I do have certain other products that I like to use, but it's in a nice big container like this, nice big tub, 16 ounces. 
this guy's going to probably last me a good while. Now, what made me go ahead and get it? Um, I heard, oh my goodness, I, I'm hoping, I, I think it's Amory. I can't think of her full channel name, but I will put a link down to Amory below. She had talked about a retinol similar to this, like that was in a tub like this that she uses a lot on her face. And I believe she even said, I think it was her mom or somebody had put it on their hands and they noticed a difference and everything. But retinol is, is a big, um, big thing in the skin, skincare industry right now. I really wanted to try the product that she had talked about and I was going to order it and then it kind of, whatever, you know how it is. And when I was in Walmart looking around shopping, I bumped into this guy and I was like, oh, it didn't look like the same company. I don't believe it is, but I seen it looked like the same, like a nice big tub because that's what hers comes in, a nice big tub like this that she likes. And it, it, it had um, retinol. I have been using it for the last couple weeks now, and I really have to say I like it. I use it at night mainly if I do use, when I do use it, but I only use it, like I said, twice in the week, if anything. The only downfall for me was my pump didn't work. So that was the bad part. Thank goodness I can open it up, and I have to open it up and go in this way. But, you know, at least I can get it out. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the the way it soaks in. It reminds me of the knives that I like, that collagen one that I talk about, but this this is even better. Um, it doesn't really have a scent, not really, melts right in. So if you're in your Walmart, I didn't say it, I believe I paid like uh, six, close to seven dollars for this big tub. If you're in your Walmart, Maybe get one, pick it up, check it out. It's really nice, guys. I think you'll really like that. This is kind of skincare, but also I use it as makeup. And it's the Hydra Shield Tinted Moisturizer from Dr. Dennis, which I think you have heard me talk about this quite a lot. It's SPF 15. It's uh, oil-free, but with skincare benefits in it. And it's really nice when you put it on. It kind of you know, gets rid of all the redness and, but it still looks natural. And her Hydra Shield she's well known for because it really helps boost the collagen. So I love wearing this, especially now too. I wear it in the summer sometimes because, you know, if I'm not really going to put foundation on or something like that. So I put this on today. That is actually kind of what I'm wearing today. This with something else, I'll tell you tell you guys here in a minute but um yeah it's a tinted moisturizer really nice I like Dr. Dennis she does have some really good products in her line this is probably a favorite I would actually have to say this is a favorite of mine I like this one better than her day cream she has a day cream as well but I like this one better so the next item is going to be from Pure Cosmetics and this these were sent to me but I have had these before, I've used them in the past, so I can pretty much tell you a good bit about them anyway. And it is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 uh, Pressed Mineral Foundation, and they also sent me the uh, chisel, flat kabuki kind of chisel brush to apply the foundation. So the foundation, it's 4-in-1, uh, it is their 10-year anniversary, so it comes in a nice blingy, blingy package. It's very, very pretty. I mean, it, it the packaging, yeah, is really stunning. Now, you know me, I'm not always a big powder foundation person. Not really. I do believe the powder foundations have stepped up their game, though, however, because um, I do notice a much more difference in the powder foundations I have used. You probably see me in past videos talk about this foundation. I even did, I believe, a review on some Pure Cosmetics. This was probably, actually probably almost a couple years ago now. You can use this for under your eyes to conceal with or just to set your concealer, which I've done that as well. For the 4-in-1, I believe it's supposed to, there's skincare ingredients in the product, so it's supposed to help balance your skin out, correct your skin, like correct it, 
the unevenness and everything, as opposed to, I believe it's plump and smooth is the other two. So plump, I think is supposed to help firm, give firmness to your skin. Or I used it a lot in a couple of different ways. One is like how I did today. I put my Hydro Shield on my tinted Hydro Shield uh, moisturizer, and then I used this to do a little extra coverage and kind of set stuff. I've used it with CC creams and BB creams and tinted moisturizers, but I have used it by itself on days where it's just like, I'm not really going to fuss with my makeup too much, but I want to put a little something and cover up the redness and everything. This really done the job really good. I really like the smoothness it gives to the skin. It retails for $34. So I really like that powder foundation. Um, chisel brush. Now I have to say this brush feels so much more better than the last one I had because in all honesty, I didn't even like the one that they sent the last time to me. I, they sent me a starter kit. It's the starter kit that they have. And I believe the starter kit has like <clears throat> the powder foundation and it has like the um, bronzer and then this and their primer. But the chisel brush, brush they sent me the last time, I didn't like it. It was rough feeling, like it was rough on me or didn't feel really good. And then also the little hairs were coming out and everything. Because like when I was buffing it, I would have like little, you know, brush hairs on my face. Now the only thing I do have a little concern because I do see, and I'm not sure if you're going to see it, there is like a little of the brush hair up right now and it's not coming out but it's it's lifted up so that's a little concern for me i'm just gonna be you know honest i mean but this is the 10 year anniversary um brush it has nice silver handle there is some little as you can see the blingage a little bit on this part here the the upper base top base it is a good chisel brush though this one is much better than the last one as in buffing on um, this is 20 this retails for 24 dollars so, I mean, you don't have to, you know, obviously you can use, if you have a flat kabuki brush already and you're happy with it, you could just use it with that. A not so much product. And I'm not sure if anybody else has this problem. I have seen one other video that had shared their frustration with, with these, found, these um, blushes. And it's the ones from Revlon, like this here, the Revlon blushes. This shade is in Classy, Classy Coral. I bought this a while ago, and when I was in my early 20s, one of my favorite shades was Wine With Everything. It was like a berry shade. And I thought about getting that, and then I knew they had their newer shades out, and I wanted to try some of the newer shades. And it's been a long time since I had the Wine With Everything anyway, but I used to, that, was, that used to be my go-to blush back in the day. Here's the coral shade. I tried and tried and tried to use this. I get no color payoff whatsoever. I mean, you're, you're watching me do this. Okay. All right. There is what I get when I even go on my finger. I mean, even with a brush, like I get, I get nothing. like nothing nothing i don't get anything with it i mean i couldn't even use it for my eyes i couldn't even use it for a highlight or any i mean it's just there's nothing so it's been a frustration with me and i just i kind of gave up so the revlon blushes i don't think i'll get any of them because i've heard several others complain of similar to the same thing i don't know if you guys have that problem i just know i've heard others complain about them so i know and this here i totally forgot i had it one of them things and it's the ybf company i believe your best friend yeah your best friend SCHSN has a lot of their products which that's kind of where i got this at and this is their golden gleam bronzer and baby pink blush it's a duo like this which probably looking at it i'm sure a lot of people might compare it again to like the nars laguna bronzer and orgasm blush or something it's a pretty dark bronzer but it's not thank goodness orange I cannot stand the orange bronzer color. So there's the bronzer. Obviously you wouldn't, it's very pigmented as you can tell. It is very pigmented. 
but I'm not going to use that much on my face. And then here's the blush right there. And there it is. And I think they're so pretty. The last two products are Mally's Face Defender. I pulled it back out. I had to. Um, and I always, when I pull it back out, it's like, oh, where I, I missed it, you know, because like it does really help with your pores. Like if you're somebody that wants something to help with your pores, like after you put your makeup on, um, if you have deep pores or anything like that, and you just want something or just to get rid of the shine, whatever. Um, Mally's Face Defender. It's pretty cool because this product here is like none other. I mean, I know like um, CoverGirl has something out, but it's just nowhere near. Very unique product. Really feels really soft to the touch and when you apply it, but yes, you can. It really sets your makeup and makes your makeup look more flawless, I think. And then lastly, my lipstick I'm wearing today is number 47 from Rimmel. I said I was going to get it. I seen Lipstick Leslie. I think that's her channel name. I'll put a link down to her channel down below. I love her. She she has become a favorite of mine. She almost reminds me of Emily Noel. If you love Emily Noel, you'll love Lipstick Leslie definitely. So I'm going to put a link to her channel down below. And I laughed and I told her because she was showing the lipsticks and she showed this one in I forget what it was recently like a Friday favorites kind of a thing and I'm like I have number 45 I'm like I have to get number 47 so and I know I was gonna buy it but I'm liking the nudes in the Rimmel Kate Moss which they're the Rimmel Kate Moss did I even say that I'm like blabbing about the number but it's the Rimmel Kate Moss nude collection and it's a number 47 I started gabbing away there it is right there. It's just so pretty. You know, just such a pretty fall shade. I really like it. And these are very, very moisturizing. I love these kind of lipsticks, the Kate Moss ones. Or Okay, so yes, I will have links to all those others down below, which especially our shout out, Julie Smith. So thanks guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you could come and join me each week. Um, I do have videos up at least every week. I'd love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.